Hello and welcome to the Raising Kellen podcast. My name is Marsh Naidu and I blog at RaisingKellen.org where we curate resources for parents raising children with disabilities. Today is December the 28th, 2023 and we are laying down the tracks for our year-end review with Drake Box. Savannah Pham as well has compiled a blog post titled Navigating Possibilities, a year of the Raising Kellen podcast, which can be found at RaisingKellen.org. I am super excited to be joining our friend Chris Krimitos and heading to the Podfest Multimedia Expo in Orlando, Florida this coming January the 25th to 28th, 2024. If you are interested in podcasting, this is definitely a expo that is well worth visiting. Consider it your one-stop shop for all things podcasting. So put your feet up, grab your cup of coffee and get ready for some awesome conversation. Today I'm joined by Drake Box, who has recently graduated from uh, UTM, the University of Tennessee at Martin. Congratulations, Drake. Thank you very much, Marsh, and thank you for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. All right. Tell us about this graduation and the degree you walk away with. Well, I recently, as you said, I recently graduated from UT Martin with a degree in mass media and strategic communications with an emphasis in public relations. And uh, so basically what that does is it in, it allows me to uh, work in the field of public relations in a lot of different ways and areas. And, you know, it's a very versatile degree and has a lot of opportunity with it. So I'm excited to see where it takes me in the future. Uh, Drake's graduation was obviously a highlight for the podcast since he did intern with us for part of his degree requirement this year, and he was pivotal in helping us plan uh, several events. Uh, the major one I'm referring to is Day at the Lake. Drake, let's talk a little bit about Day at the Lake. Let's have your roundup. Well, I think for me is uh, three main things for that. Uh the first part of it was obviously uh, implementing it and uh, the, you know, the many aspects of putting it together, whether it's the meetings that we had with our, uh, our team or, uh, you know, the sponsorship campaign that I helped create uh, and implement uh, to garner sponsors for the event. And I know we had quite a few uh, very, very well-known sponsors around town. And we also had quite a few people show up to the event, like the mayor and and uh, Representative Rusty Grills and his family. So that was interesting. It was very, it was a very well thought out event, and I was I was just glad to be a part of it and glad to uh, you know give my input on it and just watch it watch it grow and watch it be executed the way it was. It, it was very awesome, and it's an experience I'll never forget. Well, we worked really hard on this project. We came together in um, March of this year uh, to put together a plan, and we had 14 volunteers. Um, and basically, it was a day event placed in a really restful setting of Fern Lake in Dyersburg. Uh, we had several speakers um, ranging from Joey Ellis from Step Tennessee, who came to discuss IEPs uh, with us. Also on the list was Jay Campolino from DIDD, the Department of Intellectual and Developmental Disability, who talked to us about the MAPS program. It's just a program that utilizes technology to allow people with uh, disabilities to be more independent and get around town without having to have somebody right on their side at all times. It's a very, very interesting program. I, I, I suggest anybody that wants to learn more about that to go check out the speech video on our YouTube channel. Alan Engels went ahead and filmed the event and then made six or seven videos of the speakers. That way that can kind of live on the YouTube channel 
Raising Killen. Another speaker that was really good was Dennis Anderson, who talked about uh, utilizing uh, technology and utilizing uh, voice technology specifically like Alexa. And I found that really interesting as well. So that was the day at the lake, just a really informative day of seminars and uh, as well as exhibitors uh, ranging from Special Olympics all the way through vocational rehab. And a really interesting thing that's going to be coming up in the new year, Jake, is that we're partnering with the ladies from vocational rehab. They have a facility or a location here in Dyersburg and Morgan Road, and they will be helping us host a, a seminar on the 28th of March from 5 to 7 p.m. That's named the Ability Resource Fair. And again, we'll run through the resources available to families in our region. So that's just a little bit of what's happening um, uh, in the next coming months. The other items to mention as well is that February the 27th is the Tennessee Disability Coalition uh, Day on the Hill Community Par Party. And the following day on February 28th is the actual Tennessee Disability Day on the Hill. So if you are able to lobby or advocate for issues within the disability community, this would be a day for you to, to visit the Hill. And not only that, but also speak to your representatives as well as your state legislators to let them know about the issues concerning the community. Last but not least, between the 25th to the 28th of February, we will be at Podfest Expo in Orlando, Florida, talking and sharing more about the mission and vision that's been done on the podcast. So really looking forward to connecting with some other podcasters. Those are some of the events coming up for the next three months straight. I know this year, 2023, we talked a lot about resources such as housing and um education, more specifically post-secondary education that uh, is available to students with disabilities and options that are now emerging. Mm -hmm. And I and I think that is such a wide open area and uh, there is still so much of discussion to be had that we will probably hightail on that heading into the new year 2024. Uh, talking about resources available specifically within the, the education realm. I know uh, Jennifer from the Star Center, as well as Martha Chadwick, who is a music therapy teacher, will be highlighting more about what uh, about resources they provide. So those are just some of the highlights happening within the year. I just want to put the word out that if there's a specific area or topic that you would like to be investigated or uh, some more uh, information on, please don't hesitate to contact us at Raising kaelin at gmail.com whether you are a person that hosts a resource uh, or you, it, whether you're a person would like to support the work that's been done on the podcast and drake i know we can always look to you to help support the work that we do here and uh, just really wishing you the best of luck moving forward with your career absolutely i really appreciate it marsh and i just want to say the work that you do with uh, Raising Kellen that everybody does that's involved with this organization and with this podcast is, is life changing for people in the disability community and just people in general, because the main thing that I love to focus on and um, is perspective and the information that you provide and, and the, the episodes that you put out along with what you do within the community just provides that well needed, very crucial perspective to people that might not have, um, you know, have access to that perspective if, if, if it was not available to them. So I just want you to know how important and crucial your work is that you're doing. Just keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Oh, thank you, Drake. And listen, we will speak to you in the new year and you have an amazing Christmas uh, and a happy new year. You as well. Thank you for listening along on the podcast today. To read our year-end review, uh, be sure to 
check out Savannah Pham's blog post, Navigating Possibilities, a year on the Raising Kellen podcast 2023, which can be found on our website, raisingkellen.org. I look forward to sharing about our PodFest experience this coming January the 25th to 28th. And if you are in Orlando or want to know about all things podcasting, be sure to check out the PodFest Multimedia Expo. Keep in mind that we have an upcoming book, Raising Kellen, A Story of Disability, that will be launching early in 2024. To keep current with those launch dates, signing up for our newsletter on the website would be a great idea. Wishing you a peaceful and restful end to your 2023 and may 2024 bring you boundless possibilities. As always, remember, get to the top of your mountain. This is Marsh Naidu signing off.